Let us see how the rope was cut. The fibers at the end of the rope are smoothly cut. Let us try to find out what tool was used to cut the rope. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. Fibers from this cut appear to be different. If I cut the rope with a knife, it matches the original. Come on, Toby. We need the best nose in the British Empire on this case. Search, Toby. The intruders entered the shed for some reason when they were making off with the silverware. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. The scent leads to the well. I should check it. The intruder's trail is lost behind this wall. 
The criminals left the house through the French window. They walked to the shed, then across to the well, before fleeing by climbing over the wall. I wonder why they chose such a winding route. This hook might be useful. Bags of seed. Some empty bags were recently moved. Small gardening tools, nothing of great interest. This old suitcase sounds hollow. It must be empty. There's something glittering at the bottom there, but how can I reach it? Silverware. This is hardly a coincidence. The Brackenstall coat of arms. It appears that we have found the stolen silverware. The intruder's trail is lost behind this wall. Inspector, I have recovered the stolen silverware. You are a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where is it? In the garden well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? Rather absurd. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place. Or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. We found your silverware, Lady Brackenstall. It had not been taken very far. Is that true? I am very thankful to you, Mr. Holmes. Your ladyship? We found your mistress's silverware. Oh, that's good news. You really are as clever as they say. Indeed. Indeed.